I am currently at the bus terminal of San Salvador de Jujuy, which means I am leaving Argentina. Those are my last hours in the country. I am planning to cross the borders to Bolivia either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it today actually because apparently the borders will be closed at some point and I might get there a little bit too late in the afternoon. It is possible to take a bus from San Salvador to La Quiaca, which is the village of Argentina that is right in front of the border. And from there you can take the international bridge and cross it either walking or with a car, whatever you have. Well, I'm going to take you with me on that adventure and show you how this actually works out. And it's actually now already time to get onto the bus. The bus ride was meant to take a bit more than 5 hours in total. We've got our front seats and enjoyed the last stunning views of the province of Jujuy. According to what we've read online, the border would be closing at either 6 or 7 pm. And according to the bus schedule, we'd arrived in La Quiaca at around 6.25 pm. So there was a tight schedule and we were quickly noticing that the bus would arrive with a delay. The chances to cross the border on that same day didn't feel very high anymore. I can't believe this is actually happening today. We just arrived in La Quiaca and honestly we have a delay of half an hour and it was already tight. On Google Maps it says that the bridge closes at 6 p.m. So I was honestly believing that we won't make it to Bolivia today, but at the bus station we asked one of the administration officers and he told us that the bridge is actually open until 11 p.m. Meaning we can probably cross today if everything goes according to the plan. So we are walking from the bus station now towards the bridge. That is about one and a half kilometers. You can also take a taxi that would cost you around one dollar, which is not a lot, but unfortunately we also ran out of pesos and yeah, we won't be able to pay that taxi with a cart. So we gotta walk, but one and a half kilometers is not too bad. So yeah, the most important thing is that we will get there. We already have a view of Bolivia, which is right on that side. There is a river and I don't know if you can see that in the background, there is a bridge right there. It looks tiny. I almost didn't notice it, but we will get closer now. Let's cross it. I am walking my last steps here in Argentina. We are about to cross. We are basically in front of the place where we do the immigration. Well, I won't be able to film that. Obviously this is never allowed, of course. So I'm going to go through this office right now and then I will tell you how it worked out, how long it took us and everything you need to know, basically. We only waited 20 minutes in line, so that was pretty quickly, I would say. They didn't ask us anything for leaving Argentina. They just checked the passport, did whatever on their computer, and then let us pass to the border. And we are now doing the immigration part in Bolivia. Bye bye, Argentina. That's it, I am officially <coughs> and legally in Bolivia. We just received a little voucher here. It was actually super easy and super fast, even faster than exiting Argentina. We had to wait in a very short line and then we did the immigration. They just asked us where we were going and that's it. Then they gave us this voucher that we cannot lose. I gotta take care of that one. We gotta find some cash now. Well, an ATM or either change our money. There are actually places where we can exchange our money. Uh, euros that I brought with me and well then we will get a taxi and go straight to our hotel Mission completed we just received our first Bolivianos and are now going to look for a taxi Actually, we just decided to walk to the hotel because it is actually just 1.1 kilometers It is not that far. I think we will take I don't know 15 minutes maybe and yeah saving money right at the start. I think that's a good start. We also exchanged the 
pesos that we had. We had still had like 400 pesos and we've received three Bolivianos for that. I mean, that is something, right? I completely forgot to mention that we are in the village of Villason here in Bolivia. Yeah, that is the village right in front of the border of Argentina, close to the province of Jujuy in Argentina. By now we are at our hotel room. We actually didn't book a hotel room in advance. That is because we simply didn't know whether we were able to cross the border or not. But luckily everything worked out and then we just walked to one of the hotels that I had marked in Google Maps and asked for a room. And they still did have one for us, so it worked without any problems, luckily. And then we also went outside and just had dinner. We ate fried chicken, that's not very typical from Bolivia, I guess. But it was good anyway, and it was close to the hotel. That was important for me since I still have some work to do. I'm actually here in my office already preparing the video for tomorrow or actually it's subtitles for tomorrow so that more people can actually understand the videos and then we also need to prepare a little bit our trip because tomorrow we will go to Uyuni I already booked the bus online and we still need a hotel room and also I want to do some research about the tours that we can do there my first impression of the country is that the people are super friendly like seriously they seem to be very open and really kind so yeah i have a really good first impression the village itself is quite small i feel like we are at quite an altitude i gotta check that actually because i feel like i'm running out of breath faster than i would usually do but it is not as bad yet so we'll see how it gets when we are actually getting to the cities that are really high here in bolivia there are, for example la paz is as far as i know quite high but anyway so far everything fine we saw some carnival celebrations on the street that was actually a little bit funny because there were like i don't know 15 to 20 people celebrating and they were celebrating as if there were would be like hundreds of people basically with their instruments and dancing and so on that was kind of cool actually the carnival celebrations are starting now so yeah i'm excited to see more of that and well i can't wait for our trip here in bolivia to start my first impression is a really good one and i am very excited for this trip and for everything that is yet to come i hope you are going to follow me through my trip in bolivia as well so make sure to subscribe because i will take you through the country and show you various places here in bolivia also, if you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up because you will be supporting my work a lot by doing that. And I hope to see you in the next video.